I'll just tell the kids a couple of tips I did as a player because I've got a rubber band around my wrist. When I first started playing, and I used to, used to make mistakes on court, I used to wear a rubber band. I think I've told Nick this. I used to make mistakes because I used to let the mistakes worry me. I used to, a bit of psychology, I read it in a book, I think it was Andrew Gaze's Winning Basketball. It said if you wear a rubber band and you flick it, that's your penalty, move on. So it took me a while, I don't wear the rubber band anymore, make heaps of mistakes. <laughs> but, but the reality is, is that was a trick for me. Was, um, I used to, if, I, if I'm a player, if you've got a player that sort of dwells on making a mistake and it takes them out of the game for the next three or four minutes, give them one of those skin coloured rubber bands and just say, look, flick yourself and move on. The other trick that I used to do as a player, particularly when I was learning, and I'm telling this for the band for the kids, and you can have your kids do this, even though their parents might not like you writing on them, is I used to write the things I wanted to focus on as a player on my arm. Probably helped the defence, but... <laughs> but, but the reality is, as I did, if I was working on something, I'd have on my arm, and when there was a break in the game, I'd look down on my arm. And, and that's just one of the tricks I used as a player to focus on what I wanted to improve on. And, and that's that thing about purpose. Not just going out and playing. Every time you hit the floor, you want to be better. As a coach, every time your team hits the floor, you want them to be better. So if I can impart some of those little tricks I had as a player on them, that would be good. And as coaches, it's something you might not have seen before that you can think about. You might not work for you, it worked for me as a player. And I probably haven't ever told any kids to actually do that, but <coughs> as far as writing things down on their arm goes, I, I do like that still. I would I've recommended that to kids. But the rubber band thing's more a, a personality thing, whether you sort of dwell on mistakes. Is there any questions or anything about today that you're not sure of? We've still got 10 minutes, so I've got one drill that I wanted to do with the kids to finish, which I said I like to leave my sessions on a high. So we're going to try this drill. I don't know how we go with this age group, but we'll see how we go. They tend to like it. Um, but is there any questions before I embark on the drill? Well, it's not a game. Oh. You hope. But well, that would be a high. Suicide. Sorry? <laughs> Suicide. Okay. All right. Oh, no, thank you. Quick oh, okay. No, we're going to go in line with the free throw line on the sidelines. I'm going to go one, two down here, three in line with the free throw line on the sideline over there, and four at that sideline over there in line with the free throw line. So one, two, three, four. So it is jungle ball for good. Yes. Yes. One, one, two, three. Yeah, go. Three. Four.